E-mini S&Ps made it through the 2800 level this Monday. We saw a push higher. It got through, spent most of the day session north of that 2800 level. But then towards the end of the session, we did see a modest pullback. That is not necessarily going to mean that we are not going to trade higher. And that takes all the bullishness out of this. We just have to go back to October. We hit 2800, very short lived moment above it in November and December did the same thing. So that triple top right now still in place as we have day one since December north of 2800. Can it hold? Can we get at least a sustained trade at 2800? before we see any major pullback, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10% pullback, uh, which I think will be well met and bought. But I think at this point right now, the bullishness in equities could be related to not only to buybacks, but also to the fact that there still remains very little opportunity elsewhere, you know, with yields still hovering on their lows, uh, with a lot of certain uncertainty around the world, U.S. stocks seem to be finding uh, better buyers. And I think that's ultimately going to hold. But this 2800 level is critical in E-mini S&Ps. Can we hold it or can we at least exceed it? and not see a major pullback that has yet to be seen. So today we end the day right just basically straddling that 2800 level in E-mini S&P. So not all is lost, but certainly if we start to see that head south over the next several sessions, that could be a signal that we are going to see a major pullback, one that we saw in both in all October, November and December. So technically it's kind of up in the air right now. You would expect volatility to be higher as the uncertainty uh, continues to grow. We opened the VIX on the low of the day. We settled it on the high of the day, which makes perfect sense. However, it is uh, still looking from a macro perspective very low with all the uncertainty and with a, with a Fed chair speaking later this week, with a lot of uncertainty still going on in Europe, with numbers here which are you know, still coming in, some good, some bad, and forward guidance on a lot of these equities are remain uncertain. You would think the volatility would be higher. Uh, I think at this point, it probably has nowhere to go but up, especially if we do see a pullback in the underlying. So right now we're seeing, you know, very strong, almost strong equity technicals. We've got the, the VIX index still hovering on its lows, although it did have a strong finish today. And the rest of the week, well, we've, the China talks, which I think right now are taking stage uh, front center stage with the with sort of a pushback of the March 1st line in the sand. Uh, yes, I think that hurts both China and the U.S. And I think the markets realize that. And that is really where you're getting some of this sentiment from uh, out of out of Washington uh, that we could see more, maybe some more hand holding or something that would that would get the, the tariff deal off the table and get us back into doing business as, as usual, at least more equally business as usual and not so much scare tactics and talking. Secondly, Fed chair will speak this week, uh, his semi-annual testimony to Congress. And that, I think, is going to take a center stage after the China talks. And if you look at what we've heard from the Fed chair, and we have heard from him quite a bit, him and Vice Chair Clarita, uh, they are basically looking to be patient this year. They're at least in the first half of the year. They have concerns over Brexit. They have concerns over growth issues here. They have they want to make sure that they don't uh, over over tighten, I guess, is the key. Uh, as we move forward. And I think that the stock market likes that. So a stock market that, that can move up uh, amid all this uncertainty, I think, does have a bit of a bullish tone to it. However, that can change very quickly, especially if the Fed decides they are going to maybe be a little more uh, hawkish, something we haven't seen from the Fed uh, since the December FOMC. If maybe they're going to talk about maybe taking away or at least adding to their balance sheet withdrawal, something that we haven't heard from them in quite a while. And I'll also, I think that their outlook and forward guidance on the economy is very important here. Uh, obviously, inflation is in check. Obviously, the growth numbers don't look so great, but will they pick up in the second half of the year? I think the market will be looking at that as well. So right now, as we as we begin the week, we hit a key level in E-mini S&Ps, but volatility is low. But we have a lot happening throughout the week that could change that. But the key here is, can we sustain 2800 for a period of time before we see a major pullback?